Just going to do a quick video of some of the bits and pieces I've been making. Um, just to give, give you an idea of my train of thought, really, I suppose, and how easy it is to put together some good uh, sort of good bits of equipment, but without having to break the bank. So what I've done here is I've taken um, what I was having problems with, with one of my quilts was uh, seam bags. They're just basically a standard nylon material. Um, and so I was getting sort of issues with condensation and moisture and stuff like that. And I wanted to look at something to protect the bag with. Um, so what I um, sort of hit upon, instead of going full on and making a bivy bag, um, I decided to make basically just a cover. It's kind of an experimentation thing. It hasn't, I haven't totally uh, settled on the design yet. I'm going to actually probably add a bit, few bits and pieces. Um, so I decided to make, uh, it's basically like a quilt cover really. Um, it's basically the same dimensions as the quilt has uh, clips and everything to turn it, uh, clip it around your neck with a draw cord here in the middle. Um, so it's designed to sort of cover the quilt and then what I did at the bottom is I made a box foot essentially um, that covers the bottom of the sleeping bag, uh, the bottom of the quilt. Um, so therefore it basically cuts down the weight of it. Um, so this is just sewn like a foot box in the bottom down here. And <clears throat> uh, so that basically just covers the quilt. All right. So the idea with that is to give you some protection against drips or a bit of spray if you're out um, in a tarp or something like that. Uh, what I might do in the future is add uh, a bit more of a lip around it. So basically this has uh, got Velcro. Um, I designed this initially for my winter quilt and this has got Velcro um, in strategic places that mates up with Velcro on the um, the actual winter quilt. This one here is, I've just got my summer quilt out at the moment to kind of give you an idea how it works. Um, so the idea is that the, this, this actual cover connects to the quilt uh, sort of precisely. So when you roll around and everything in the quilt, it all, it all sort of stays together um, and it doesn't sort of slide one independently of the other. Um, so the idea with that, so yeah, protecting from drips, a bit of wind protection, um, up the heat a little bit. This is quite light and compact. I mean, I just leave this in the stuff sack that the quilt's in. Um, it's about 230 grams. It's made of Pertex um, Endurance, which is basically uh, a Pertex ripstop nylon. Quite a fine weave nylon there. You can see that. And on the inside it has a thin, very thin, waterproof breathable coating. Now it's not 100% waterproof. I think the the water water rating on this is only about a thousand mils. So the idea with this is that it gives you meaningful water repellency, but it gives you um, lots of breathability. It's the idea. So um, it's not a super durable fabric, but it's, it's light. What I was trying to do is have something that give you that repellency, but obviously keep the breathability up. So not going for a full waterproof breathable fabric. I'm not envisaging sleeping out in the rain in this. It's more a thing if you're under a tarp or leave your inner of your tent behind and you're looking at drips, condensation, things like that. Now, <clears throat> supposed to be very, very breathable. And so far, the, the times I have, have used it, I've actually experienced a bit of condensation in it. So... What I am thinking of doing is uh, going down the same road as this, but building a um, using a way more water, a way more breathable fabric. So um, instead of getting one with coating on it, just run the standard Pertex with like a just a standard spray on DWR to it, um, and see how that helps. Just basically trying to move the dew point a bit further away from my bag and try and protect my bag a bit more from damp, and also. If I um if I extend it a bit more, uh, I was thinking of extending it down a couple of inches or you know a good good chunk like this so sort of this far, then it can tuck under and make some straps up to tuck under actually under my mat because this would anchor it down uh, and would stop any breezes coming up underneath between the the uh, mat and the quilt uh, and just give more of a sort of a warm environment I suppose and that would also mean I'm not having to pack a big full-on um, bivy bag because my idea is obviously I've got my thermo rest which is like pretty thick it's uh, what two and a half inches or whatever it is they're about three inches so you're quite a fair way off the ground so I'm not really going to experience much in the way of water getting into there 
things have gone horribly wrong if that starts happening. Um, so it's really just breezes more than anything else. I mean, I'm not going to get, there's not going to be water blowing in there. And so, same at the foot end. Obviously, it's going to stop here, and then the this material is going to fan out. So there's going to be a little bit of maybe a possibility of where this box foot ends and this open part of it uh, starts. It might get a bit of moisture in there, but I'm not, as I said, not sitting in the rain in it. So I think that is something I'm not really going to have to worry about. But, so overall for 200, 230 grams, bearing in mind, um, you know, you could go smaller and lighter uh, than this. I think this fabric is about uh, 55 grams per square meter, and the stuff I'm looking at is around about uh, 20. The lightest is 22, but I'm probably going to do the next next weight up, which is 27 grams per square meter. Um, and also, bear in mind that this is huge. All my quilts are 1.5 wide. Uh, so the width of the fabric, so this is 1.5 wide, oh, minus a little bit for the um, hem. Because um, I like them nice and wide, and I like a lot of room in it. That's the whole point in going to these um, these quilts, is to give me some room. And I'm not a, a little bloke, so um, I'm quite big in the shoulder, so I need that room. So you will see a lot of quoted uh, weights, and you get quite excited, like, wow, that, you know, that bivy bag's 180 grams or 200 grams or whatever. But when you look at the dimensions, I would never fit in it. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, well, that's why it's light. Same with a lot of clothing. I get excited about the clothing. Ah, oh, great. Um, that's super nice and light. Um, and I purchased one, and it's, the actual cut is tiny, and I can't even get it on. Um, so it kind of blows that whole weight saving out. So obviously you've got to tailor that to your, to your, to your size of that you are. Um, and that's with all my stuff. I mean, this summer court, you would have seen if you look at my other uh, review on this, that's how much extra I had to add to it to make it useful for me. <laughs> so uh, that's quite a bit. Just goes to show you, not designed for a tall, tall, big, fat people. So hopefully it gives you an idea. So this, I, this here, obviously you can make in all sorts of different fabrics. Um, and always looking that if you really wanted to, you could also... Um, use this design and just make it into like a synthetic topper quilt um so essentially just um you just use lightweight fabric like this and put some like climber shield or something on the inside of it and that would be a nice little quilt so yeah so it just gives you an idea it's just something i like to make but some pieces this is fairly again fairly easy it's not a it's not rocket science it's just um probably the hardest part is to do the do the foot here Bit of trick, bit of the old pie. Take some. You might have to look online on how that works, but it's just making the right size, and then away you go. Alrighty, guys. So hopefully that's uh, helpful. So get out there, start making some stuff on your own. Experiment a bit. Um, just the way forward, you can get something that you that's going to work for you. Experiment a bit, and uh, you might come up with something new. Alrighty. So that's the quilt cover. Waterproof, uh, water resistant, breathable quilt cutter. I'm gonna call it a black mamba because it looks like a big black turd, really. <laughs> All right, so remember to uh, slap the old subscribe button, comments in the comments box. Feel free to uh, ask any questions, I'm more than happy to reply. And I'll see you on the next video.